Welcome back to Laravel tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to insert the record from here so first we need to create we need to go to controller and create so let me do one thing actually we have opened here several files so let me cut from here so we will have only one it will be easier to maintain okay so this is your controller file so in controller for inserting the record we need two things the first thing is to show the form and the second function will be when the user will have filled the form and uh, press enter or press uh, you know submit button in that case the data should be inserted so we need to create two functions the first function that we will create public function function create so just create this function sorry public function public function create and then here it will load the create student function uh, view blade file okay so now we need to create this one so let's go to here and simply create and save it to our not http except students and then resources and then views inside student and then we need to create dot blade dot php now we need to paste or we need to write the code for inserting the record so h1 or h2 insert students details so for that we need to first create form okay so this is the syntax for a uh, form generating form for in this uh, laravel in open array routes students dot store so we will have to create this function also public fun function store and further code we will write later so our function name will be store okay so here and then form close form close will be here okay so inside that we will write the code of inserting the data so this is the code this is the bootstrap actually the class row and then here is the actual code input type text f name l name email then address phone number and then submit button so this is nothing but HTML, simple HTML. So there is no any special code in this. The only thing is that this is the form opening. Okay, so now this is done here. Now let's try to open here. So what we will write here, create. Why we are writing there create? Because this is the function name. Okay, so once because this is the create if you go to students then this function not name we are writing there create so this our form is ready now but when you enter some data okay it will not not go anywhere because inside the store we don't have written any code here inside this store we have not inside this store we have not written any code so let's write code for inserting the data so let's open our controller file from here app then http and controller inside that student controller and we need to replace this code with the, this one so here is store and then request so here is for validation before entering the data first it will validate and we have put here required first name is required last name required email address phone number all these are required so this way the for validation purpose once everything is fine in that case now this create function will insert all the record so if you are from php background so it is like insert into then fields name and then value so you can see how short 
this code is and how effective this Laravel is that you know with just writing one line of code your task is completed so once it is uh, inserted then it, it will redirect to that index with this message product so it will be students students created successfully or added successfully student it will be st student added successfully so now let's try here so refresh it once and then red gmail.com abc phone number whatever then add student okay you can see now this adding thing is working so once again let's delete this and then let's add one more record here at rate gmail.com address new address phone number this 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 okay so so far you have learned how to so let me explain you once again the code here we in adding section in inserting section there are two functions actually this one is for displaying the form okay this one is for displaying the form the form which you are seeing this one for so displaying this form okay so first time when this create function hits here when this create function hits here then this form is loaded through view okay and when you press this button add student in that case this function comes into picture and then this inserting code works so hope you understand and like this video thanks for watching bye bye and in the next video we will wor be working on edit and update section